is not lost. The past lives inside us. Encoded in the double helix are the experiences of our ancestors. After three decades of research, our engineers have forged the cutting edge of biotechnological interfaces. We have unlocked the lives of our forebears. We have opened a window into the past. This is Total Immersion Entertainment. With the press of a button, you will experience the most pivotal moments in history. All from the comfort of home. Welcome to Helix. Where the past is your playground. Last of the heroic Knights Templar, Jacques de Molay was a man of principle, a towering intellect, betrayed by those he trusted. In this episode of Fallen Heroes, experience Jacques de Molay's final tragic hours through the eyes of one of his closest friends and advisors. Who's there? A friend of the temple. Floarak, the council's message was absolute. You're not welcome here. I must speak with the Grand Master. He's in session. They all are. Another day, perhaps. King Philip disagrees. Damn you, man. You're not rotting in a cell at this moment. I cannot fathom. <laughs> we are betrayed. Draw your swords, men. Defend the temple. Not you, brother. I have a different task for you. Come with me. King Philip's moving faster than we expected. Mm -hmm. Another hand is at work here. The Pope? The Assassins. Assassins? I thought the Mongol Khans broke their power decades ago. The Assassins are far older than Masayev, my friend. Their anarchic delusions are virulent as the plague, less easily eradicated. <laughs> we will not prevail this night, but if you make haste, we may yet save our order. What must I do? Go to the tower. Take the sword and the book. Hide them. They must not fall into the Assassin's hands. Grandmaster, Go! I will.
reach the, the tower. They've taken the... Clement, hear me? Before this year is out, you will answer for your crimes before God Almighty! And you, King Philip, no punishment is too heinous for the great evil you have inflicted upon the temple! I curse you! Curse you to the 13th generation of your blood! You shall be cursed! flames of hunger and wrath. Thus came the age of true wisdom to a blistering close. The Knights Templar, once the proud shepherds of order, peace, and illumination, were no more. Yeah, let's get a sniffer running. If Abstergo pings us, pull me out. Okay. I have a visual. Hey there. This is probably disorienting, so I'll be brief. I'm Bishop, not my real name, obviously, but that's as much as you'll get today. Please listen carefully. Abstergo is using you, hijacking your neurons to help them sift through genetic memory data. These guys throw at their fingers in countless corporations, governments, media outlets, and NGOs. But now, they want control over history itself. If that doesn't frighten you, it should. But we're here to stop them, and I need your help. Deacon, preload gene sequence, 
uh, AD 16, B 13, I 87. Yep, spooly it up. Last week, we gained access to a bank of unsequenced memories in Abstergo's Helix servers. For now, we'd like you to experience a small sample. This should help you understand our struggle. And after that, you can decide for yourself what comes next. We'll be waiting. Arno. Can't I go with you, father? Courage, my boy. You wait just here. I will return when this hand reaches the top. That's forever. Not as long as all that. And when I get back, we'll see the fireworks. And Arno, no exploring, hmm? Yes, father. Can't steal one. Thief! Put that back! Go. Got you now! Put that away now! Damn it! The hell's going on? Disobey an officer of the peace. Hurry, Did you see their faces when we stole those apples? <laughs> I'm Arno. Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. What should we do now? Shh. Listen. Don't worry. They'll never think to look for us in here. It was my fault. I'm the one who took the apple. Let's see where they're going. Monsieur Franklin, I sincerely hope this unfortunate affair does not darken your opinion of our nation. Monsieur, if we judge nations by the character of their Elise. father, we should all be called our Come here, girl, now. Father?
Come away, boy. So you stoop the thieving, you bastard! Calm down, Victor. I've only come for my watch. It's my watch. I want it fairly. Well, in a just world, Victor, I would agree with you, but this is not a just world. This is France. You're a dead man! Oh, step lightly there. You'll hurt yourself. Ah! I just had a nice chat with your brother. You go. Fetch the marshals. Hold on a minute. Diable. I've got it, Victor. I said. Sorry. Pardon, madam. Gentlemen, please, we can come to an understanding. Please, excuse him, he's not housebroken. Like you probably can't even read or watch. Come over here and say that! Uh, no. Get back here! Huh? Over there! Keeping up, you're back. Shall I follow break? And where in God's name have you been? Ha! Huh. Got you now, you little shit! Just a little misunderstanding. Nothing to... Your master's arboring a common criminal. In broad daylight, he broke into my home and stole my watch. Did he indeed? Well, I'm sure the Marshalsea would be more than willing to sort this out. Sort what out, Olivier? Uh, a most serious accusation against your ward, sir. He robbed me. <laughs> of what, precisely? Wait for me in my library. Don't give me that look. Victor cheats when he plays Pharaoh. Everyone knows it. Arno? Who are you talking to? No one, monsieur. You'll be happy to learn I persuaded Olivier to leave off calling the Marshalsea. Again. Je vous remercie, monsieur. What is this? The sixth time? The seventh? Perhaps a new hobby might be better for your health. Well, I find playing cards affords many opportunities for fresh air and exercise. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. I have business in town and must collect Elise before I can attend to it. Elise is here? Only for the night. She returns to Paris first thing tomorrow. She'll need an escort. Won't she, with you so preoccupied? 
One of you running amok is quite enough. Remain here and see if Olivier has any chores for you. I'm sure he does. What was that? Give my regards to Elise. Yet? Oh, you would love that, wouldn't you? It'd break my heart. Olivier, if I weren't here, who'd do all your work for you? The horses need brushing, boy. Get to it. Certainement, monsieur. De la serre. Wait! Nom de Dieu. Nom de Dieu. Nom de Dieu. Some trouble, mon ami. A letter for Sir de la Serre. It's very important. Oh, calm yourself, Perrault. That letter won't reach Monsieur de la Serre any faster if you drop dead of exhaustion. Give it here. I'll catch you. You must receive it today. It's very. Very important. Yes, I heard you the first time. I'll see that he gets it. Monsieur de la Serre! Stop! Bad luck, lad. You'll have to go around. All over. What was that? Damn it, slow down! Apparently, Walnut is a popular finish this season. Who is driving this coach, Pelops? It's a bird's eye view.
There you are. Back at the line. Get out! This is no place for you! À la nation, Finally. une nouvelle source de bonheur. Not these two again. Must have tailed me from the estate. La dette de l'État, déjà immense, à mon avènement au trône, s'est encore réduite sous mon règne. Une guerre dispendieuse, mais honorable, en a été la cause. L'augmentation de l'impôt en a été la suite nécessaire. Et a rendu plus sensible leur inégale répartition. Vous devriez être Une inquiétude générale. Un désir exagéré de la nation se sont emparés des déchets. So, who or what will take its place? Another king? A council of capable men? That is the question, isn't it? A truce, then. What the devil was that about? Now, now, we can resolve this without recourse to violence, can't we? Get him, Yuko! I suppose not. Get him, Yuko! He's 
Easy, big fella. Back at home, I suppose. Bonsoir, Olivier. Has Monsieur de la Serre returned? Seigneur de la Serre is not expected until late. Ah, well. I suppose I'll just pass the time with Elise, then. Don't get your hopes up just yet. Mademoiselle is at a private soiree, in her honor, at the palace. A party? I wasn't invited. Neither were the horses. <laughs> I'm sure she just misplaced my invitation. I'll find my own way in. Ah, uh, how late is late? Perhaps an hour, perhaps three, perhaps not at all. I do not question the comings and goings of my betters. I'll just wait here, then. Tragique. Too depressing. Traité du monde et de la lumière de Descartes. Never could get through that one. I could just slip it under the door. He'd see it the instant he returned. I'd best not leave without dropping off this letter. Oh, oh. There. Safe and sound. 
and only slightly delayed. And now, to the palace. Ugh. I couldn't sneak through a sewer in these threads, much less a ball. Here, here, mon ami. Let me take care of that. Uh, well, thank you, young man. Maximilien Robespierre. No guest. Oh no. Le Chevalier du Telem. Invitation, s'il vous plaît. About that, I had one, of course, but on the way. No invitation, no admittance. Now clear the queue. Next, please. Charles Gabriel Sivet. Two guests. Next, please. Quite the turnout. Quite! cost more than my rent. Last time we were all together like this. It must have been that business with, um... And I would thank you not to speak of that. Madam. Merci. 
un autre jour. She always did love the chase. You seem to have caused quite a commotion. Well, what can I say? You were always a bad influence. Oh, you were a worse one. Father's suit. <laughs> Are you wearing a dress? <laughs> Don't even start. I feel like a mummy wrapped up in this thing. Must be quite an occasion to get you so fancy. It's not like that. Truth be told, it's a lot of ceremony and pontification. Dull as dirt. Well, when you don't invite me to your parties, everyone suffers. I did try, but my father was adamant. Your father? <laughs> Go. I'll distract them. What? You're kicking me out? Just Complicated. I'll explain later, but for now, out the window. Oh, no, no, no. You're not turning this into a repeat of that apple orchard. Stop being such a baby. I'm sure there aren't any guard dogs this time. <laughs> Go! Ten to one, I end the night cleaning a rich man's vomit off my shoes. You're right, monsieur. Too much of the king's champagne. Monsieur. Monsieur de la Serre. Monsieur de la Serre. Sylvain, come away. Guards, help! Murder! Killed Lord de la Serre. Degenerate. 
Where am I? In hell. Staring at piss pot. If you snore, I'll strangle you in your sleep. That's fair warning. Will no one deliver us? Welcome to your new home. Where'd you come by this, piss pot? I'm in no mood for this. Give it back! Take it back. If you think you can. Ten leaves on the old man! Effort for a broken antique. The only broken antique in here is slapping his idiot jaw. Say that again. I have nothing more to say, old man. Your crazy drawings, old man. Drawings. Bees here. Everywhere. Scribbled like chicken scratches all over this cell. Where? where? Come here, you little piss pot. Get your hands off me. Look at the wall. What are you doing? Concentrate. Concentrate. What are they? Messages from the past. I had myself thrown into half the prisons in Paris in search of these. What's your name, boy? Arno. Arno Victor Dorian. Dorian. <laughs> of course. Pierre Belek. I knew your father. 
bully for you. He died at Versailles. In what? 76? 77? December, as I recall, no witnesses. How did you... Your father was an assassin, Arno. He gave his life fighting for the liberty of all mankind. If you stick with me, you might just live long enough to join the Brotherhood. Honor your father's memory. <laughs> Listen, I'm sure your little cult is a delightful bunch, but I'm not interested. The only thing I care about is finding Elise. How are you planning on doing that from in here? Keep an ear open, opportunity might just come knocking soon. That was cannon fire. Sometimes opportunity sounds a lot like cannon fire. Secure the prisoners! Follow the lead. Prisoners up against the wall. On oh, whose authority? I told you this was going to end badly. Silence! Stay back! Prisoners up against the wall. Stay back! Run down your weapon! Do it! Stop! Right there! Yield! 
Drop your weapons! Where now? Up! Brilliant! And how do we get down again? Trust me! I surrender! I surrender! What are you waiting for, Pisspot? It's time to jump. What? Prison scrambled your brains, old man. Drink took care of that a long time ago. Now get up here! I can't! That's impossible! Impossible? That's the purview of every assassin boy! If you can pluck your head out of your own arse, come find us. Make a great fit. Goodbye, piss pot! You! Back away from the ledge! Some welcome. One can't be too careful. Not after what happened. Elise, I've... Haven't you done enough to repay my father's kindness? Elise, please. You can't believe I killed Monsieur de la Serre. Your father... He wasn't the man you thought he was. Neither of our fathers were. I know exactly who my father was, Arnaud. And I know who yours was. I suppose it was inevitable. You an assassin, me a Templar. You? Does that shock you? My father always meant for me to follow in his footsteps. Now all I can do is avenge him. I swear to you, I had nothing to do with his death. But you did. No. No! By my life, I swear I didn't! Is that... A letter intended for my father the day he was murdered. Read it. Grandmaster de la Serre, I have learned through my agents that an individual within our order plots against you. I beg you to be on your guard at the initiation tonight. Trust no one, not even those you call friends. May the Father of Understanding guide you. L. I found that on the floor of my father's room. Unopened. I didn't know. Neither did my father. How could I have known? Just go. Please. this supposed to be?